And which also sounds a lot like Barack Obama, the way you've just described Teddy Roosevelt, um, uh, as this president who uh, doesn't have uh, the, the uh, political power to push his own agenda through Congress as, as freely as he would like, or really at all at this point, uh, but is baffled by these symbolic actions by this insurgent group over here, uh, and who is widely criticized for for not being able to somehow negotiate this, but but also I think maybe just doesn't get the 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 idealism of the Tea Party. That's very fair and very astute. And you know, I, I you know, writing this book, I, you know, I didn't. The book is all history. Uh, with you know, outside the preface, I don't talk about today, but there are so many parallels that I think come through uh, from this era. And I think one of them is the the approaches of of Obama and uh, Theodore Roosevelt. They were very different characters, but their their strategy. Their governing strategy was uh, legislative strategy was very similar. They they sized up the opposition. They said, "Well, you know, I don't think I can pass this bill that I'd like to pass. So I'm going to figure out, you know, going to scale it back and push the bill that I think can pass. And they'd negotiate for a bit and try to push something, and then take the best bill they could get. 